Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tiffany. If you are new here, welcome. Hope you hit the subscribe button and stick around. Today's video, we're going to be doing this look. So it turned into a kind of an impromptu, soft, glam-ish type look. I didn't know I was going to go this glam when I initially started, but like it happened. I had this cute brown, chocolatey lip. This eye is kind of this eye is it for me um but me and Brian are getting ready to film i'm pretty sure i said this in the video so i don't know why i put this much makeup on because we're literally doing a smack or facts video and i know i'm gonna get two pieces at least two times at least two i'm not really sure why i did all of this but it doesn't matter so if you guys are interested in seeing how i got this look and what products i use today then just stay tuned so i'm gonna start with my face nothing new i'm not really doing anything <gasps> oh, super fancy or super extra because well i'm literally just putting makeup on to do a video with brian and the video is not makeup related it's just um it's the smack or facts video so i just felt like i should do something to myself i probably shouldn't put makeup on though because i'm probably gonna get two-pieced but what can I say? So I'm going to use the Farsali Skin Tune Blur. I used the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. That's what that was. I just put on my eyes. Um, but I just wanted to do something to myself so I wouldn't look too crazy while filming the video. Seeing how I'm probably going to get two-pieced. So that's what this video is about. Okay, so for foundation, I haven't used the Vanish Stick. I haven't used the um, Hourglass Vanish Foundation in a long time, so I'm just going to go ahead and use this. I have the shade Sable. It's the same color I have in the stick foundation, and it's pretty, it's pretty much a perfect match for me, at least in the stick. I don't remember if this was like the color it translated exactly from the stick, but you know, whatevs, even if it doesn't. This is what we're going with today. I'm going to use this Morphe little flat top kabuki brush to blend it out. Oh, I do remember this about the foundation. It has a very, very distinct smell. Like, it doesn't smell bad, but, like, it's a smell. Okay, I'm going to actually do my eyes right now. I didn't plan on doing my eyes first, but here we are. So obviously when I'm using this palette, it's going to be something neutral. I don't really want nothing too extra. So I'm just going to speed through this part and I guess you guys will see what I come up with. Okay, so I'm back. I did pop some lashes on some some little beauty supply lashes, so nothing extravagant, but just enough because I do have neutral, but I got a little wing. 
so it's something 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 and i'm going to jump into concealer so i'm going to use this huda beauty concealer i have my l'oreal one but i haven't used this one in a while so i'm going to use this my huda beauty overachiever concealer and peanut butter a lot of people don't like this little silver part that is on here but like i'm obsessed with it it feels so good under your eye i don't know why people don't like it i don't care I like it. Once I'm done blending this out, I'm going to use my Laura Mercier powder to set. But I got to blend this out pretty fast because this is a matte concealer. Oh, I haven't used this in so long. Look at my face. Look at my face. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do my lower lash line and just put this burgundy shade and probably a little bit of this shade to buff it out. So I'm going to take this Black Radiance press powder and oh, Rich Mahogany. I'm like, where's the name? I know it's on here. And I'm going to use this to contour today. I know, I'm contouring. Who am I? go ahead and spray my face now I'm gonna use this Maybelline last and fix spray but don't worry I'm still putting on blush and I'm still putting on highlighter I just want to spray my face first so I'm gonna be using the Bella Bella by Bella blush by Juvia's place today is still my favorite <laughs> it basically matches my shirt I'm looking good looking smooth okay so then I'm going to take this Jewish Place highlighter this is the Nubia loose I'm about to say loose glitter loose highlighter and I'm literally just going to take what's actually in the cap because Loose highlighter still freaks me out. Mm, yes, this is oh, everything. I'm going to put some liner on. This is my NYX lip liner in brown. I think I want to put an actual lipstick color on. Oh, this is fire. This is Antique Velvet by MAC. This is perfect. Mm hmm Yep. Perfect. So I'm going to spray my face one more time. And then... I'll be right back. This is the finished look as you guys saw already in the beginning and before I came off the camera 10 seconds ago to talk to you guys right now. You guys, this is what we're working with. It came out really good. Like, I feel really snatched. Really snatched the bun up, the hoops. This is like a vibe for me and I'm feeling it. I am obsessed. Um, But that is all I have for this video. I don't really have nothing much to say right now. 
pertaining to what was going on in the video but if you guys loved it if you liked it give it a thumbs up and let me know down below what you guys would like to see next and without no this is not the beginning of the video i'm about to say without further ado like i always tell you guys i'm your girl tiffany thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video